The clash of greatness is happening once again. It's the women's 100 meter dash, this time in Lausanne, Switzerland. In this race, we have the returning Olympic champion, Elaine Thompson. We have the bronze medalist from this year's Olympics, Sharika Jackson. And we also have Shelly Ann Fraser Price, also from Jamaica, who many regard as the greatest female sprinter of all time. This season has been absolutely historic for the women's 100 meter dash. Earlier in the year, Fraser Price ran a time of 10.63 seconds, which then placed her as the second fastest athlete of all time. Following this stunning performance, Elaine Thompson Hera completely dominated in the Olympics, running a time of 10.61 seconds. Following this amazing Olympic gold medal, just two weeks later, these two Jamaican athletes returned to the track in Eugene, Oregon, where Thompson Hera achieved a legendary victory at the Prefontaine Classic, winning this race in 10.54 seconds, a time that only placed her five one hundredths of a second behind the world record of Florence Griffith Joyner. Heading into this race in Switzerland, many saw Thompson Hera as a clear threat against Flojo's world record, and given the favorable wind behind the athletes in this meeting, perhaps history would be made over the next 10 and one half seconds. After a fair start, Fraser Price got out way faster than the entire field, and even though Thompson Hera did her best to close the gap, it was all Fraser Price on this day, who won this race in 10.60 seconds, once again lowering her personal best at 34 years of age. This is just ridiculous. After competing for well over a decade, Price just ran the third fastest 100 meter time in history, and she somehow managed to take down Thompson Hera, who really has looked almost unbeatable since the Tokyo Olympics. These two incredible Jamaican athletes have completely rewritten the record books this season, as they together now have five out of the top 20 all-time performances ever, and they've achieved these performances over the previous two months alone. At this point in 100 meter history, I think it's possible that both of these athletes have world record potential, but they will certainly need to run an almost perfect race to achieve this feat. If Thompson Hera can somehow get a powerful start like Fraser Price, a 10.49 is definitely within her reach. And if Fraser Price can continue her rocket-like starts and then hold on to her top end speed like Thompson Hera, a sub 10.5 is also a realistic goal. I cannot wait to watch these two athletes run for the remainder of this season. And with that in mind, I have one final question for you all. Will Elaine Thompson Hera or Shelly Ann Fraser Price break the world record in the women's 100 meters this season? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.